Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. <laughs> Hopefully I can jump up there. Oh, there's a chain. A good hook. Yeah, that's um that's why I've been changing up the titles for these YouTube videos too, because I was just titling them like, oh, you know, God of War Part One, God of War Part Two, or whatever. And I think it stands out more to like just like kind of come up with a title, like whatever that might be. Because obviously, like, I'm not doing video essays, I'm just doing gameplay and uh, putting it on YouTube, but um, it's still it's still more of an eye-catcher to just sort of, you know, have some unique words in the title rather than just, like, God of War, name of the, name of the game, uh, you know, episode uh, whatever number. Shatter Star Shield, a shield bathed in the radiant light of a thousand dying stars, force of the cosmos. <laughs> Sounds pretty impressive. You know, I feel like a valid question is like, what happened to all his gear from the previous game? But <laughs> it'd be interesting, like, if you could import your save data. Uh, from last game. Atreus would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants were told. Disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion. Fabled to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time... Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Huh. Yep. Well done, bro. Uh, my chat today made me realize using the title to describe something major in the video is, is huge. I was wondering, I saw your tweet, I was wondering if you meant like a like a chat that you had with someone or like your Twitch chat. <laughs> this will not be a pawn of prophecy. Isn't that weird how like, you still stand against uh, even with victory foretold. Words have kind of like changed will meaning not now. March my son to war. Multiple meanings. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. I thought for a second there the audio was like glitching out. When he said Atreus' name, I was like, what did you say? <laughs> You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. Didn't think of it like that. Chat with a marketing slash design professional. Oh, I got you. Okay. Nice. Did you have to like pay for that or, or just someone that you know? Because it's always nice if it's just like a, you know, person that you happen to know and you don't have to like you know, pay for for consulting. I guess you don't, you don't have to tell me, but. <laughs> Free, okay, nice. Yeah, new game plus with gear from the last game into this. Yeah, right. Um, I guess it would it would probably make it like a little unbalanced though. Like they would have to like, you'd have to like rebalance everything for that, um, and have two different versions of the the early game because otherwise you would just like totally breeze through early game. I'm actually like literally thinking of it like um. Restarting in Cookie Clicker, <laughs> where you get that bonus, you get that bonus cookies per second, and like, all of a sudden, you know, you just breeze through all the milestones. You wouldn't, you wouldn't really want to be doing that. You want a little bit of challenge. The reckoning. Find a way across the 
broken bridge. I'll burn my bridges. Or whatever this is. It's a bucket. We got a burning bucket, boys. Uh, let's see. Fucking swamp. Can't jump in there. Can't reach what that. What about the crane? Can you turn it somehow? Didn't need a hint yet. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, though. Ah! Just trying to just slowly figure it out. Oh, I can swing that and I can turn it. You can probably use those islands to get a better angle on the torch, no? Islands, let's see. Does that mean going this way? How do I get over there? Hmm. What are you talking about, Freya? What do you even mean by this? Something burning right underneath me. Oh, okay, so I can swing using that. I didn't notice that. So I need to bring this around so I can swing over there. I just was only looking at this part and I didn't realize there was a um, red thingy. Whatever that's called. It's a chaos thing. She's like, why don't you try doing this? It's like, just give me, give me a moment. And then they were like, yeah, I, I, there's a similar complaint Use I have. Your blades to swing the torch to the other Shh, side. Quiet. Um, there's like moments where I was actually stuck and I like couldn't figure it out and no one's saying anything. Actually, something to change the frequency. Huh. Let's cross the bridge now. Oh, it actually lit on fire. I just wasn't looking. I was looking at chat. I read that whole like paragraph that you posted, no, but I just didn't want to like read it out loud. <laughs> um, newest horizon. The newest horizon dawn is uh, worse somehow. <laughs> Fire go wee. Um. So now I should be able to swing this all the way back around, right? Away. Uh, the Mario movie? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, oh, I need to go back to the other side, don't I? See, now that part I'm actually having trouble with, she's not saying anything. <laughs> this already proves my point. <laughs> the only, literally the only complaints I had about the Mario movie were like, um, the, the, like, character Mario seems like strangely accepting of the fact that he's like being sucked into this like universe like he doesn't really question it he's just like oh yeah okay yeah. like he does at first he's like oh where am i and then like after that it's just like oh okay well. <laughs> um but it's a it's like a movie like it's it, you know i was gonna say like it's a kid's movie but i don't like to use that excuse but it is just like a movie and there's just kind of suspension of disbelief uh where it's like it's not that it's not a big problem. What kind of angle do I have to have on that pyre, I wonder? I do like how there's no hints on that kind of thing, if that makes any sense. 
I thought I couldn't I couldn't hit it from over there either, so what? Like this one I can't reach. How can you oh, I can go down. anyone alive be squeamish about war? After all the gods you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. And I don't. After the price I paid for you. Look around you, Kratos. See what happens when you don't fight true evil. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to uh, fight Odin eventually, right? I'm actually kind of surprised how little, like, you know, god killing and fighting there's been so far in this game. Uh, like, we had to fight Thor early on, but we didn't actually kill him. He didn't kill us. Uh, it was just kind of like stalemate. Or like he beat us, beat us up and then left. Um, let's try going over to this side again real quick. Oh, I bet I have to swing the fire. Oh, crap. Had it in the right place to begin with. I gotta swing the fire into that one, I bet. I think this one over here I did accidentally. <laughs> I was like testing out swinging the fire around. I didn't even know that was there. I mean, I totally meant to. Completely. Instead of swinging it towards me, let's swing it to the right. Let's see if that works. Yeah. <laughs> I like how just having a fire like kind of near it works. Wrong weapon. Kratos is like, I'll just use my mixtape, that's fire. Uh, let's see. Swing it that direction instead of going all the way around the other way. <laughs> Charles Martinet cameos. Yeah, that was cool. Did you see the thing where uh, Charles Martinet, like, uh, cosplayed as that character? I thought that was, like, the greatest part was him dressed up as that character in real life. That, that was awesome. So, he seemed happy to just, you know, be part of the project at all. I can't remember if they were originally going to have him in the movie, or they put him in the movie after fans were like, hey, you know, you have to have him in the movie. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know... I mean, I guess that movie makes me feel pretty good about Illumination. I don't really know anything, or I haven't really seen any other... I think that's the first Illumination movie I've ever seen. You know, obviously people like are uh, distasteful of uh, Minions. Um, but I've, I've never seen any of those movies, so I can't be like, Oh, yeah, uh... Despicable Me, Minions are so annoying. It's like, well, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's actually a good movie. <laughs> yeah, I, um... I guess I could if it's, like, on Netflix or something. I think, like, the most recent one went on Netflix or something like that. But I was like, well, I never saw the OG Despicable Me. I like, um... I like Steve Carell. I don't think I really have seen him in much other than just the office. That's one of Odin's captains. Be ready. Odin's captains? Fiska? It's Wilson Fisk. Watch out. Oh, he's got a he's got a sigh. He's the Reaper. Oh. I don't have enough health for this battle. Ah. I died. Oh, okay, you announced it. They announced it right away. Okay. 
Watch out for car doors. Oh, because Fisk. Oh, God, yeah. Netflix Daredevil. You have to have seen Netflix Daredevil to get that joke. But I get that joke. Alright, so did it give me full health back? Or did he just hit that hard? Did I have full health? I don't remember. Just, I'll just, like, sneak past him, right? We don't have to fight him. Ah, I need to dodge to the side when he does that. No, don't dodge directly back. I don't know why that's my instinct. like underneath the mask but if he was just like a cute little just like a cute little cat this is like a little, little furry friend what's he doing he's like doing the like like tuscan raider thing what the hell is that what he just like teleported to me not fair not fair just sending me through the ground To block. I gotta use my blocking skills. Wow, this is like impossible. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna help around, right? I don't think there's any way to make it the rest of the way through this fight on that little tiny amount of health. That's why I was, like, not even trying towards the end. <laughs> 100% of the game, you don't remember this warrior. <laughs> That's just how little he mattered to you. That's just how quickly you destroyed him. Oh, wait. What's this? Wait, what? Is this optional? Or is this- this is just where I came from? Yeah. First I thought, like, there was a different way to go other than the way I came from. I was like, uh, what? Alright, maybe I should switch to normal, like, combat fury. I forgot how to do that, though, because I've never actually switched back since it gave me the option to. Hey, runic attack? Do I have one of those? No. Um... Spartan Rage. Yeah. Oh, I can upgrade this. That might help. Let's upgrade Fury and switch to Fury. Oh, I could upgrade it to level three. <laughs> uh, I'll hold off because I could I could use that on so many other things. I could use it on skills or whatever. Hmm. Do we go Blades of Chaos? That'll give me a little more room to not get so close to him. <laughs> Oh, come on. I was in the middle of the hall when he did that. Oh no. At least I avoided it. Man, you're 
expected to react so fast. I literally let my guard up at exactly the wrong time for that. Okay, though. I don't know what his like second phase is gonna be, but I like your I like your purple weapon. I like how it glows purple. It's very pretty. We could just be friends. No? Alright. <laughs> I tried. He's charging his laser. Oh, I needed to do the shield break on that. I'm not even building up enough rage from this to use my rage. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah! <laughs> I took his own weapon from him. Oh, God. Oh, that was brutal. Alright. Well, I'm glad I finally remembered to switch back to the normal combat rage, at least. Oh, there was health over here. I guess there was last time. Glaive of Dodher. The glaive thrown by the... Uh, okay, I didn't get to finish reading that. <laughs> it's a glove. That's what a glaive is, right? It's like a combat glove. Ragnarok will not bring back what you have lost any more than killing me. I am reaching my limit for enlightened platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things? <laughs> uh, I went for the Rage Builder passive thing and some unlockables that build up health on the taxing and give you rage. Glaive of not important. Yeah, right? <laughs> Just disappeared. I always forget that I only have like a, you know, few seconds to read it. So by the time I like start reading something, I'm like, I only have like five seconds to read this. <laughs> it reminds me of um, earlier today, I got a car wash. And as I was going out of the car wash thing, I was pulling out. And normally it like the car wash that I was like used to going to would tell you like, oh, you have like 60 seconds left to like dry your car on the way out. But by the time I got the front of my car was leaving the door of this uh, car wash, it was like, you have five seconds left. And I was like, oh, so it's just not going to blow dry the car at all. <laughs> so like it got to the point where the air was like blowing on the windshield and it just turned off. And I just had to drive out of there with the car still wet. And I was like, all right, whatever. I'm not impressed. <laughs> yeah, it was only like the $8 wash or whatever, but... They're like, oh, you gotta pay more if you actually want your car dried, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it is a ripoff. I think they're just trying to get as many cars as possible through there because it's like, it's really busy. It's a really busy car wash. It's a small town. Yeah, I guess I didn't really think of that. I could have driven around. I really wanted to go home, though, because I had done a doctor's appointment. And, uh, um, went to lunch with Raven at a local Irish pub, which actually was great. Um, of course, I don't want to say the name of it, but there's a, a local Irish pub here. And actually, they have uh, stained glass with like a shamrock on it, uh, which I thought was awesome. I'll have to take a picture of it the next time I'm there. Uh, but they they serve some real good like um, bar food, Irish pub style food. It's delicious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm always like aware of that, that I don't want to dox myself. Because like I said, it's a very small town. It's not like I live in like a huge city. I wasn't as worried about it when I lived in like a massive city, you know. I need to go that way. I like how Freya is getting so impatient. She's so mad. She's just like, let's go already. Oh, 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 this is that gate. Okay. I just, I'm... 
blathering on and I lost my sense of direction already. Out of your plant. <sighs> Consider me the herbicide. Yeah, there's not anything in these. This is I feel like this is almost like a Dark Souls reference too, the fact that you can just break all this wooden shit and like nothing ever happens because of it. Oh, you can roll into it too. Yeah, that's totally Dark Souls. Look at that. I've only ever played a, a little bit of Dark Souls 3, but it was fucking great. Uh, I have Bloodborne now. At least as, as long as I keep PS Plus. I think I've said that like every stream since I got it, but I have Bloodborne now. Believe that'll be a stream game in the future. Alright, don't tell me how to do this one, Freya. I swear. I've seen this before. <laughs> oh, it's stuck. Let's try going the other way. It's stuck the other way, too? No, just didn't go very far. Okay, but it's stuck when it comes back around. And I just jumped down. Yeah. There's a chest over here. Oh! oh. <laughs> I didn't see that one. That's the first thing I do when I jump down somewhere is I'm like... Oh. I'm like, what's the way that I'm not supposed to go? I gotta stop rushing because of these damn plants. Speedrunner's nightmare. <laughs> you can eventually play those. You already got a death counter set up. Yeah. Yeah, I should have, um, I was thinking about that recently, I should just have like a, like a text death counter command, uh, where you just do like, you know, exclamation point death or something and it tells you how many deaths there have been and then I would be able to reset it between games that I'm playing. Saw that one. She's over there. Those are cool statues. That almost looked like one of those exploding plants, just the light reflecting out that plant, which is super cool, by the way. Like, the dynamic lighting in this game. It's crazy. Okay. Nothing back there but a torch, it looks like. Don't even know why that area is there. I was wondering if there's maybe a way to knock down these pillars. Do Looks not like I'm supposed to, to kill climb here. What? I killed to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. Mom and Dad are fighting again. Let's see. Any of those, like, plants? I feel like there's going to be enemies here, right? They literally put health here, and there's, like, a round arena. Oh, there's banners. Okay. Let's what's, go. What's that? It's like, just past those doors up ahead. Image. What's the logo? Hmm. Pretty sure I can't go this way yet, right? That's that thing we don't know anything about. Maybe I'll fight here on my way back or something. Oh. So much red. There. I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgard. What is this place? My home. I was born here. 
Oh. Uh. Bloodburn seems like my kind of game since it's Lovecraft like. Before playing both God of Wars, I was hesitant playing Dark Souls, but I think I'm a better gamer now. <laughs> I say that, but in before 800 deaths first game. Oh, yeah, yeah, I definitely died a lot uh, playing Dark Souls 3, like even just in the first like. I played like 10 hours of it or something like that. Um, so my brother was nice enough to share his library with me. So I checked it out. But yeah, I killed a couple bosses. I mean, you definitely die a lot, but that's also like part of the point. Like, even that dude that I just fought, like, I think I was just gonna die to him the first couple times until I, like, learned the patterns. And you can see how, like, after dying to him, like, two or three times, I learned my lessons and killed him. Hold on. <laughs> Something's not Basically happening. how Dark Souls goes. Open Barra. Open Sesame. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on! Oh! oh. Shit! Nithog. What's this thing? It belongs to Odin. Oh, it's no. Nithog. It protects Nithog's roots wherever they are. Oh God! Bastard was counting on it. Shit! <laughs> Speaking of Dark Souls battles. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, no, no. Is that what the Barda taught you? Close your ground. Good. Keep at it. I need to get to those roots. I'm working on it. Quick, give me this fury. Uh, I think I'm going to have to use fury if I want to defeat this dude at all. Oh, I almost dodged into that. Taking damage when it's on the ground near me. Get it in space. That's it. Don't relent. Just have to get close to it. Getting to her anyways. Ow. How was I supposed Don't to dodge that? Shut up, Freya. <laughs> She's so annoying. Yeah. Oh, this reminds me of the the uh, Hydra fight. Okay. What in the hell? I supposed to do? Use your leg. It's still in the way. I need to get to those Freya, boots. I beg of you, I stop. <laughs> as, as you're not helping. Oh God. There we go. Finally locked it once. If I free the Vanaheim root, I can help you. I can handle the creature. Focus on the root. Alright, now's our chance. Get in there. This thing is huge. I actually was reading um, a little bit of Norse mythology in my free time, so I know about this thing. So it's cool to see it appear in the game now. God damn. I need to get health back, like real bad. Can't you just chop its head off already? That is not helpful. <laughs> do a better job distracting it. There we go. There we go. Come on. I have it. In that case. Quick. Hurry. Just like Morty and not that shit. Just cut it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Do we have to she kill this thing? Oh. Not 
not cool. It's like a huge laser. Oh, I didn't see that coming. All right, that's the tail. Oh my god, this is insane. How do I even get close? Oh, there we go. Hey, get me out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's, it's sucking stuff up like Kirby. What? This is how it gains its power? Uh No. Yeah, let's go. Get in there. <laughs> I just keep blocking like every chance I get because I don't want to die. But I, I I don't know if it's even blockable during this stage. I see it. Okay, I guess this is blockable, huh? My sigils can amplify your attack. Okay, okay. If I can reach it. Yes, bring it down. Finally working as a team. Instead of just arguing. God damn. No, no. Oh, oh, oh. That's not the thing I need to block. I need to block when it blows everything back out. Got it. And we'll get the timing down for this eventually, I'm sure. Well, that was close. I just need to dodge. Where's he going? All right, which which attack now? Which attack? This one. Oh shit! I didn't do it fast enough. Block? No, I was holding black, but not fast enough. I was holding black that whole time I was taking damage. Come on. Just because I didn't have it out right before. I'm so like hesitant to attack, but that's what's like screwing me over right now. Gotta charge in there, but I don't want to die. I'm not even hitting it. Okay, okay. Can we hit it now? It is more desperate. Yes, be ready for anything. Okay, next next phase. I do have my rage up. Alright, I wasn't sure how close I had to be for that. Oh, I'm ready for anything, that's for sure. Whoa. Oh, damn. Come on. something. <laughs> Working on it. Oh, I see, I see a shrug. I can't really reach out right now, but I will once this thing is dead. Ooh, that was a good block, actually. Oh, so was that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> what? 
gonna take both of us to take this thing down. Jeez. Not the first dragon that we fought. Won't be the last. Oh, uh, I'm just going for this rage, damn it. Uh. Oh, crap. I should have just stayed with my shield out. I shot a sigil into its stomach. You know what to do. There we go. That's it. That's the last one. Yeah. Speaking of all the like Dark Souls things in this level, yeah, there's a huge dragon essentially. <laughs> your a your ass, aim for my sigil. <laughs> Welcome in, Shrug. I will catch up on chat. Fully at some point here after this cutscene. You think we could like use the world tree roots and make world tree rip beer? Would that be good? Like a rip beer float? I wonder what that would do to you. Leave Freya alone. I got it. Wait, what's happening? She doesn't have to be so she doesn't have to like stay in this realm anymore, right? That's what we were trying to fix. Is it done? It's over. It's, it's really yeah, I, I thought maybe she was dying. you have what you seek. I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided? Sheath it, put it away. To be honest, I don't think I can do either. There's still a part of me that is so angry that it'll always be. You'll always be angry. But no. Damn, what a what a like mocap performance here. You are not the one who needs to die. Technology has come so far. I do see that.
Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. Not for that. This is like, this is like getting me. This is like properly fucking me out. I do not regret saving your life and never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice. Well said. Well put, Kratos. Ooh, is that like a little motif for, uh... Gosh, what, what is that a motif for? For Freya or just for, like, the, the game, the first game? Can't remember. It's a little bit of a callback, I think, musically. Uh, the amulet. <laughs> the amulet! The amulet, Charlie! God damn it. Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> the, am the amulet is a unique item with expandable slots for enchantments. The amulet can be upgraded to unlock more slots. Alright. It's got expandable slots it's got expandable sluts uh let's see cool select the amulet got it press x to view the amulet menu enchantments and kratos inventory can be socketed into the amulet enchantments and sockets uh when an enchantment is selected the list the description is displayed on the far right of the screen press x to select an enchantment and move to the socket list so Set bonus increases the damage of all Kratos' ranged attacks and abilities based on its cooldown. Uh, cooldown 10. Okay. Next. <laughs> Expandable what? Yeah. <laughs> now that I am myself again. I suppose it's time. What was that thing that I just picked up? And after that? I don't know. Oh, frozen flame. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. Can we just can we just appreciate the detail on this model? I'll just keep this up. Just keep this up while I read chat. <laughs> um Appreciate you guys all hanging out tonight. Uh, um, oh yeah, the 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 boy Atreus, he's like he's like grounded. <laughs> he's he's at home. <laughs> uh yeah, what a beautiful game. Yeah, right. Is that a shrug? <laughs> I brought your taste buds for like 10 minutes. Yeah, Novit's got Corona. Those are your senses, yeah. Literally was fine, went and got food for later and then tried some and realized, realized that the hard way. Yeah, that's that's tough. All good. What did you cook? Buffalo chicken dip. Oh, jeez. If you ever get the chance, um, when you do get your, like, taste back, which, you know, hopefully you will. I'm, I'm sure, like, in most cases you do. Because um, I, I did, but I know some people don't for a long time. But look up a recipe for something called Flying Jacob Casserole. And it's, like, you put, like, um, the buffalo chicken made me think of it because you put, like, chicken... Uh, you put, like, uh, I think, like, buffalo sauce in there. And then you put, like, peanuts and something else. Um, 
yeah, you can see the ingredients if you look it up. But yeah, it's called Flying Jacob Casserole. I don't know why, but it's really, really good. And it's like super uh, like low carb if you're like trying to, you know, like you're not someone who exercises a whole lot. And you're like, oh, I don't want to eat a lot of carbs right now. Yeah, I saw most of these chats. <laughs> Just here vibing. Um, your chat be vibing or else they get shamrocked. <laughs> Smart using using your head for a yeah. Furious chat Kratos ten out of ten. Sage wise father Kratos a hundred out of ten. <laughs> the amulet. <laughs> We don't hang out in chat, we vibe, else we risk the wrath, wrath of getting shamrocked. <laughs> oh, womp womp. Yeah, I, I did. Yeah, <laughs> I did say it. We vibe in high sloth, yeah. Rewinds bonking, bonks the streamer. <laughs> Ow! Um. <laughs> Redo the entry. Swedish chicken cream chili sauce bananas I think I feel like we left out the bananas like the version that we like found we're like we we there either was a, ver a recipe that we found that did not have bananas or we, we just were like uh no that's weird because <laughs> like I'm I'm okay with bananas like by themselves or with like a little bit of peanut butter or whatever but like I'm not a huge fan of them in other things Yeah. Yeah, it was a recipe that um, Raven found. I like how this whole time Kratos has just been standing here staring at this thing. Like, like Freya's waiting for him. It's like, uh, what are you doing? I'm just thinking about stuff. 